David Sherwin, cantor of Mount Olive Lutheran Church and artistic director of the National Lutheran Choir. I'm coming to you from a very important corner of our house in which resides our piano, our musical partner here. We thought in this time of isolation we'd share periodic inside information about a form of music so deeply important to us, yet now on hold in the hymns that we do love to sing. With what's going on in the world right now, and for we church people, now in our last week of Lent, I thought it would be good to start with the hymn by Georg Neumark, If You But Trust in God to Guide You. It was composed in 1641 during the time of the Thirty Years' War, a time of great death and a time of plague, staggering amounts of death, in fact. This era actually produced many of our Lutheran hymns with writers such as Paul Gerhardt, who speak of the joy of faith that we're called upon to have. When If You But Trust was first published, it was called a hymn of consolation, that in God's own time, God will sustain and keep each person, that we should cast our burdens on God who will sustain us. It was translated in the 19th century by Catherine Winkworth. And that translation unfortunately goes through many changes every time a new hymnal comes out. So the words that you see in your book might be a little different, but the sentiment is the same. And it's certainly appropriate today, 349 years later, as this virus changes just about everything. It's a tune that works for an assembly very well. Sturdy. It can go fast. I was affected by its use in the in the movie Babette's Feast where it had a very chamber feel to it as the two sisters sang it in their living room with an old upright black piano. The arrangement we used in this recording begins there. There's a simple ritonello for cello, flute, and organ. Ritonello is a little musical idea that comes back. It returns between each of the stanzas. It begins and ends with a solo voice a small texture, a small sound. And in the choir stanza, it evokes the words, be still, as if we're on a rocking chair, reassuring a young one in our arms. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> 